Many thanks to Magtech Ammunition, the sponsor of today's active self-protection lesson. It's the only ammo I put through my rifles or pistols at the range. Stendo, 21 rounds in oh, that bad boy. Wow. Lots of illegal, extra illegal in Canada. <laughs> extra, extra illegal. Extra illegal. Yeah, Justine would have a hard time with this. <laughs> now, so one thing I want you to see, see you got a little space here? Yeah. I'd like to fill that space with hand as best I can. More, okay. The more I fill that space with hand, the less the gun will be able to recoil on me. Okay. Okay, now then, much pressure from that pinky pressing it back into my back strap as much as I can get without shaking the crap out of the gun. Okay? okay. Now, put that gun up there with your dominant hand only. I'm gonna just show you something here. I just want you to feel, so when I put this, we, we jokingly call this a lumbata, right? Yeah. So here's my thumb. That is how much support hand pressure I like to have. Okay. Okay, so basically, mo. <laughs> right? Okay, yep. Okay, so I got plenty of support hand pressure. Now, I just want you to think on this one, okay, the gun's gonna do what it does. Okay. Okay. So I really want you to think on this one. All I'm trying to do is keep that grip pressure as hard as I freaking can. Okay. Right? Yeah. I don't even care where the rounds go. All right. I don't even care. I want you to keep that maximum grip pressure on the gun and see what it does to your recoil control. See what it does to how fast the front sight comes back to you. Okay, that's what I'll focus on. Then. Okay. Okay. Grip it like it stole something from you. There you go. That felt better. I was just say that looked pretty good to me. That felt better. Yeah. All right. I had to refocus halfway through. No grip, grip, grip. Yeah. But, well, uh, I mean, we shoot twenty rounds like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, good. Go ahead, and put in a magazine in and a, a drop slide safely holstered. Take your time. Very good. All right. So again, you're shooting pretty quick, and and look at look at the results here. This is a great result. Right? Now again, our, our perfectionism goes, but wait a minute, I do still have this tendency to push low left. Guess where mine is? I push right, because I'm left-handed. Okay. okay? Yeah. So I tend to push right a little bit. So, uh, uh, okay, fine. Now, can we work to minimize that? Of course we can, but what I really want you to see right now is, Mark, you say, oh, I'm not very good shooting two-handed extension. What, what, what are we saying? Actually quite good at shooting okay. two-handed extended, okay? And that, that uh, is, a strength of yours, good. Now can we work to make that from an 80 to 100? Sure, of course we can, and that's what we should do. But let's think through uh, what that means a little bit. Now when you grip the crap out of the gun, what did that do to what you saw in your front sights? It steadied them. Yeah, see how much yeah. faster it came back to you? Yes, absolutely. So, three things you gotta do. And I wasn't watching, I wasn't doing, I wasn't watching this. Right, you could say boom, boom, boom. It made a big difference. And that's really where it's at. So when you start to see that sight going all over the place, that, the answer is not sight the gun more, it's grip the gun more. Yeah, because it, it also let me get into the rhythm. Because mm. way, I wasn't having to fight the gun as much because it was coming back down to the same spot. There, see, right? now you, you found the secret. There's the secret, okay? You just found the secret. And this is the one thing that you cannot work outside of the range. Yes. This absolutely. is the one thing where you go, I got to get to the range so that I can feel the recoil and feel that gun do what it has to do again. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Now I have a couple more tricks that'll make it even more fun for you. Okay. But let's just go back to here again. We'll get there in a little while. Sure. And I just want you to experience, you know, pick any one of them. It's fine. And just feel that again with the rounds that we have left. Okay. I don't even have to shoot fast. I just want you to see fast. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I go, this is how much grip I have. Bang. What does that do to my sights? Yes. Got it. Got it, got it, bang. Oh, that kind of was all over the place. Free grip. I, I, I think the problem that I have is, is you know that when, when you're doing any kind of a, a, a martial art, it's stay loose, stay loose. And here, but I it's not, no, it's not. You're a martial artist, okay? I said this the other day. I, I did a private for my friends, uh, uh, Penny, who is a second degree black belt and yeah. a badass, okay? So here's what I taught Penny. And you know this, I come over here. Okay, so we're in a boxing position, right? Great, you're boxing. But what is this? Is this your punch position or is this your ready position? This is your ready position. So, so I'm ready, so I'm loose because I don't know where I'm gonna go. But now, here's the thing, okay? Throw a punch and hit, hit that with that. Now look at what you just did. Are you loose? Not now. No, because you need to, you need to generate force. Yeah. Notice as well, are your shoulders uh, off the target or square to it? They're square to it. Are your hips off the target or square to it? Pretty much square to They're it. They're square to it. Are your toes off the target or square to it? Pretty much. They're square to it. Yeah. So, so my martial arts friends that are like, yeah, but I'm used to this weaver. 
This is what I'm used to. No, you're used to, a, you're used to being loose here and ready because I, gotta, I don't know where it's going to come, but when I got to throw a punch, boom, I turn my, my feet, my, you know, my toes, my yeah. hips, my shoulders, and my nose right into what I'm trying to hit and generate force. Yeah. So cool. Now, I might say here, I've got a gun in my hand, so I'm in a ready position, but when I'm going to generate force, which is when the gun goes okay. bang, what do I need to do? So I can be loose, but now I'm tight. I'm going, okay, yeah, yeah. no, now I don't care feet so much, but I like a little bit tighter, a little more athletic stance, like I'm playing shortstop in baseball yeah. or, or linebacker in football, right? I kind of like this. And again, I'm just gonna point my, my toes, my hips, my shoulders, my nose at my target because this is the moment of bang, 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 bang. I'm, and so I'm generating force here. And the way that I generate yeah. force, the way that I generate force in martial arts is, I point my toes, my hips, my shoulders, and my nose at what I'm generating force for. Okay. Yeah. That's the bottom line. And so okay. we get this thing all the time. No, I, I'm, I'm bladed because that's my ready position and I, that gives me power in this hand, in this dominant hand that I'm going to throw. And I go, oh, okay, well, maybe because I want reach, I, I tap this jab out here. But do I generate a lot of power with this jab? Yeah. No. Do you know who generates power with their jab? Guys who keep their shoulders tight. Bang! And, they, <laughs> and, and until they get... And they're throwing their hips into it. And they're throwing... Yeah. And, yeah. So, again, if I want to generate force with that rear hand, I have to turn everything into the target. Okay. So, I don't really mess with that too much. <clears throat> but what I'm really trying to think about here is then grip that gun with everything you have. Same thing. I can be loose here with my hands, but the second I want to generate force, I have to tighten you this to hand. Tighten I have to have a solid hand. Okay. Well, guess what that means here when it's time to generate force? So you're loose and then you're... Well, and, and again, I might go, oh, okay, cool. When am I loose? What I say is relax is no unnecessary tension. Sure. Okay. There is necessary tension. Absolutely. Right? But I want no unnecessary tension. So, so if we back up to five <clears throat> and I go, oh, okay, cool. When do I have no tension? So you look at me. I'm, do I have tension right now? No. Nope. Am I re relaxed? relaxed? No, not at all. But as soon as the gun goes, you're now relaxed. guess what? I have tension. Why do I have tension? Because I'm about to shoot the gun, yeah. okay? So, so before I shoot the gun, nice and loose and easy. Here we go, okay, everything's cool. <laughs> awesome, that was you know, my, the best day that I ever had because I put it in that top left target like I was looking for. How much tension did I need? In that moment, I needed to drive and feel enough tension to do the things that I needed to do. I needed to feel enough tension to have what I needed to have. Feel enough tension. Now, again, watch the difference between, so just, if you just watch the muzzle of the gun, you can see, if I am easy and kind of light here on this, okay, so that's how much the yeah. muzzle rises. Now, if I grip this gun like it freaking stole something from me. Totally different. Totally different. Yeah. Now, the interesting part of that, actually, what I always tell folks is, is that the fun part when I have a dot, and we can, you, you can, you're happy to shoot this anytime you want, is you can see the difference between how much the dot goes away and comes back when I don't grip the gun. And if I grip the gun right, I get this little squiggly line inside this window. Okay. And it's the most beautiful thing ever. <laughs> uh, great grip controls where it's at. All right, so you have some time. I want you to just, again, draw the gun, feel that grip. Think more grip. I want to grip the gun more. 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 Okay? Yep. So, toes, hips, shoulders, and nose at the target, taking my time. Grip that gun like I stole something from you. And you're seeing what it does in your front sight. Try again. I think I am out. Well, good thing I still got more stendos. Uh, you know, if I ever get into a gunfight, you got to be there with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go for a new. Sure, target. go for it, man. That's what it's there for. Look at how much more quickly you're able to shoot now yeah. and maintain that acceptable level of accuracy. Makes a big, big, big difference. That's the last and one also, I got. You can find a rhythm as well, mm -hmm. right? You always, almost always happens that your first shots of a magazine will be a little slower than the last few as you start to realize, nope, that I am, I'm seeing faster than I think I am. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Which is great. That's a good thing to know. Take your time, get all the grip on that gun you're going to get.
Nice work. Okay, drop the slide. It's carefully, safely, easily holster. Very good. Let's load up some mags. I like those extended mags. Yeah, right? More pew. <laughs>